This is Robert, owner of Eclipse Window Tinting. Today I'm going to show you the heating process for a rear window on a 2008 Ford Taurus. I will need your help for this tin. First thing you're going to do is lightly mist the window and then you're going to take a bounce dryer sheet and rub down the window. That's fine. Then you're going to take either a paper towel or a sponge. And you're going to make a line across the center of the window. And we actually have a computer cut machine where we just punch in the year, make and model of the vehicle and the computer cuts the window tent out for us. Uh, so this rear window for this Taurus is already cut out. We're just gonna lay it on, it's fine. Thank you. All right, once you lay the rear window on, you're going to take a squeegee and tack down the center where you made your watermark. And it doesn't have to line up exact. Uh, you just need it in a general area of where it's going to be installed later on. Uh, the film gets heated on the outside of the glass and then installed to the inside of the window. Uh, in order to do the heating process, you're going to put your heat gun on high heat. And you can either use a paper towel, a glove, or just your bare hand. But what you're looking for is the film itself to actually change shape as you're heating it. And you can actually see that change happening. And every rear window is different. Uh, depending on the amount of curve that the window has is what dictates uh, how difficult uh, that window will be to heat shrink. And it's basically a repetitive process. Um, you know, once you, once you have the process down, you can pretty much heat shrink every window, uh, with the exception of, uh, some Corvettes, Volkswagen Bug, uh, some Oldsmobile vehicles. I mean, there's some that are tougher and even after years of practice, some professional tinters have problems with. As you can see right here, there's a huge finger there. It's really bunched up. So what I'm looking to do, even though down here doesn't really need to be heated, I can actually just push that out and it'll go away. I'm actually going to heat it so that way it pulls some of that excess down away from the top edge. And then I'm going to come in a little ways from where it's bunched up. So that way it pulls some of that excess this direction. It just makes it easier to deal with. Uh, because when the fingers are too large, that's when you end up creasing it or you have to heat it so much that it can make holes uh, in the film and then you have to start all the way back over. So There's little tips and tricks that you can use to make it easier. To lay down. Same thing down here, we're going to heat a little bit and we're going to push down and out. We're going to heat a little bit, push down and out. We're going to heat a little bit, down and out, and then we're going to stop focusing on this bottom section and we're going to start working our way in some. So you're going to heat here and that's going to pull from this finger and make it easier to deal with. And you got the large, the large finger right here, so instead of going right at that, you're actually going to start in here a little ways, and as you can see, Without even touching that over there, by heating right here, it pulled some of that extra tension in. And now I can heat the top, the top little area here, which will pull some of the tension from there.
And then once you get it to the bottom section, you no longer want to focus on heating here. You're actually aiming it right at the bottom and you're moving back and forth a little more rapidly. All right, that's the heating procedure for a Ford Taurus 2008. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.